What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to episode three of the Road to Super Series. In today's episode, we're gonna be starting the bodywork on the Mini to get it ready and up for sale. Roll the intro. So as you guys saw in episode 2 of the Rotor Super Series, we pointed out a few little bits needing to be done on the car. There's this bit of lac lacquer peel on the bonnet and if you come along to the side, on the bottom of the driver's side door, there's a bunch of rust and corrosion. We're going to get that fixed but at the moment, that's starting on the back end and as you can see, just below the driver's side back tail light, there's a bunch of rust and on the back tail light, just where the number plate sits, there's a few spots need to be fixed. So at the moment, we're just stripping it down, getting it ready for paint. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do, is you want to strip everything down, you want to get rid of all the stuff that's in the way. So in our case, we've debadged it, both badges, we've took off the trim that holds the number plate lights and the switch, we've took the number plate off, and I've removed the, comb the chrome trim along the top. This is the area here we're concentrating on. We've got quite a bad patch here. And then little bits here where the trim's been rubbing off it. So we're gonna take care of all of this. We'll get all this fixed and then we'll paint the whole tailgate. Now we've got everything sanded down, we've got rid of the rust on all the sections below the back light on the tailgate. What we're going to do is we're going to use a rust inhibitor to stop any further rust coming back. We use uh, Hammerite Corrust, it's the best one I've used so far. Um, I've not had too much experience with them but this one works really well. It's available at any motor factors, we'll also leave a link for it in the description. But you basically apply this with a small brush, leave it for a couple of hours, it will convert any bad metal that's there to good stable metal and then we can apply the filler and then sand that down and get it in primer. So now that your fillers are all sanded down and smooth, we're going to put some edge primer on all the bare metal and then when that's dry, we're going to put a couple of coats of filler primer and that should be it.
Alright guys, it's the next day, we're still on the Mini What you can see here is we've actually got a new door for the driver's side The rust damage on this door is far too bad So we're going to replace it with a good second hand door But it's red so we're going to start work on this We've got the tailgate already in primer, that's ready to wet and dry um, So we're going to scuff the inside of this We'll get the inside in primer And then we'll paint this and this at the same time and then we can flip the door over when that's dry and paint the outer side. Let's get on with it. So as you saw from the time lapse, we used a scotch pad to rub down the inside of the door and we gave it a quick coat of primer to get better coverage for the grey paint. Now while that's drying, we're going to rub down the back of the mini, get it all wet, sanded and ready for paint. So guys, what we've got in here is our wet and dry sandpaper. I've got, um, what grit is that you've got in your hand now, Charlie? 600. 600. So I've got the 600 grit soaking in here. It makes it nice and soft and pliable, ready to start the, the wet and dry process. So basically we've got the filler primer on, we've threw a black guide coat on, and then it's just a case of gently rubbing it, feathering in the primer, getting rid of the black guide coat, and then you know it's nice and flat. So as you can see, it's all masked up now and ready for paint. What we're going to do is we're going to throw down a few layers of base coat and then we'll lay on some clear coat.
What's up everyone? Welcome back. It's the next day and the paint's all dry. The finish is looking great. There is a few little bits of dirt in it, but we did expect that as we're in a garage and no spray booth. That's an easy fix though. So in a later video when we're doing all the machine polishing, we'll buff it down with a 1200 and then we'll polish it back up and it'll be spot on. Now, let's get it unwrapped. So that's it for today's episode on the Road to Super Series. Hope you've enjoyed it. I know we've really enjoyed it because I got to paint for the first time ever. Dad got to paint for the first time in years and our brand new little air compressor held up great. If you haven't seen the first two episodes of this series, we'll leave a link to that at the end of the video so you can go check it out for yourself. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, like and comment. We'll see you in the next one. Roll the outro.